Robinson, <laughs> and without plastic surgery, I'd look like E.T.'s balls. <laughs> bro, not, bro, bro, like, it'd be bad to look like E.T., but E.T.'s balls? <laughs> so, that's a whole nother level of bad. <laughs> you know what? I haven't done one of these in a minute. I feel like it's time. It's well needed. Bam! Look at them! With the stripes? Come on now. <laughs> I like these because these can be the Union flag colors and also the American flag colors all at the same time. Represent both sides. <laughs> what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new reaction and today we're watching Frankie Boyle's Best Bits from Mock the Week. Now I've never heard of this show before until like a few days ago when we did the uh, most offensive jokes ever told video and a lot of those offensive jokes came from this show and it just came from Frankie Boyle period. The dude is on a different level. He's funny bro. He really is. He's one of the best ones I've found so far. In this show I, it got me interested because it kind of reminds me of uh, whose line is it anyways. I don't know if that's exactly how the show works, but the clips that I've seen, that's what it reminded me of. So today we're going to watch some of Frankie Boyle's best parts on the show. So we're about to get into it. If y'all are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. When I'm recording this, we're like 40 subscribers away from 100k. Bro, bro, this could be the video we hit it on. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Once we hit 100k, I'm getting a UK theme tattoo. Please drop some ideas down in the comments. I've been looking through all of the comments. But other than that, Let's get into it. <laughs> So this is from Series 7. I caught ideas for scenarios. We'd love to see the performers come in with their suggestions. <clears throat> right, here we go. The first subject is... Things you wouldn't hear from a weather forecaster. <laughs> Temperatures could rise to 31 degrees. Shut! I've left my baby in the car! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. A huge depression over Scotland and now the weather. <laughs> the outlook's bright for the weekend. I've got three grams of coke in my pocket and my wife's on holiday. Oh my God. <laughs> Bruh. What do you care what the weather's going to be like? You look shit in all your clothes. <laughs> uh, unlikely things to hear on a survival show. I was first taught to eat in the bush by a French girl I went out with at university. <laughs> but who are the truly civilised? Is it the Mbupi tribe or is it us with our books, our medicine and our internet? Oh yes, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> the strong, powerful sun is making me sweat. Oh shit, here comes his dad. Frankie! <laughs> I've just achieved my life's ambition of climbing Everest with no food and no equipment. Now do you love me, Daddy? Bro, look, you know you're like funny as hell if, when you can just come up with stuff like that on the spot. Like this show, you have to think of stuff quick. That's how you really know that you're actually funny. <laughs> Unlikely things to read on a packet. Uh oh. <laughs> Viagra are proud sponsors of Andy Murray for people who can only ever achieve a semi. <laughs> <laughs> Best before date, Rehypnol. <laughs> Deleted lines from a fantasy film. I'm not a dwarf, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. The next topic is... Things you don't want to hear from your flatmate. Well, if you don't think I'm a nosy bastard, why did you write that in your diary? Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't see why I should pay for half the loo roll when I never use any. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a consumer program. I'm Adrian Childs, <laughs> and I was shocked by the new Shrek film. <laughs> I've not been paid for it, but I seem to be starring in it. <laughs> <laughs> Last week we said that we were going to expose London's security scene. This week we say, there's been a misunderstanding. Could I please have my kids back? <laughs> I'm Anne Robinson, and without plastic surgery, I'd look like E.T.'s balls. <laughs> bro, not, bro, 
Bro, like, it'd be bad to look like E.T., but E.T.'s balls? <laughs> so, that's a whole nother level of bad. <laughs> okay, the next topic is things a sports commentator would never say. Jimmy White holding up the cue there as he collapses at the telly. No, it bends. <laughs> It's the women's 100 metres final, and from left to right, it's no, no, yes, yeah. maybe, from behind. <laughs> <laughs> Venus Williams has brought something different to the ladies' game. Male genitalia. Damn. <laughs> overpaid, overpaid, knocks it on to overrated. Overrated on to possible rapist, possible rapist, knocks it forward, closet gay, goal! <laughs> Bruh. Likely lines from a thriller. Michael, Peter, David, Vladimir, I think we may have a spy in the organization. <laughs> 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 this is no ordinary pen bond. Turn it upside down, the woman's clothes drop off, and you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I used to have like six of those pins. I don't know where I got them from, but I had like six of them. <laughs> Bad things to say at a wedding. When John went down on one knee, I wish I'd known that he was having a stroke. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This dude, he might be my favorite human, like, on this planet. Like, how are you this funny? Oh my gosh. I wish I knew he was having a stroke. <laughs> Bro. Now, it's my job to tell some amusing stories about Gavin. So, first of all, for a kickoff, he's a hermaphrodite. <laughs> the hell is that? Hey, Carol's family have always had their doubts about me. So, first of all, let me explain why I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> Bad things to hear at the psychiatrist. I don't want you to think of me as a psychiatrist. I want you to think of me as a mental patient who killed the psychiatrist before you got here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you say that you're paranoid, but I have a report here that says you looked very relaxed in the bath this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You've been coming here for six months to talk about your trust issues. Well, we've been filming you for Britain's nuttiest bastards. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a TV talent show. 2007's winner Leon Jackson is still selling records in his Saturday job at HMV Paisley. <laughs> <laughs> what a hilarious singing dog Susan Boyle is. <laughs> that was a beautiful song until you fucking sang it. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! Things you wouldn't want to hear at work. It's not a photocopy, it's a shredder. And what have you done to your arse? <laughs> you mind if I leave early? I've got to pick up the kids before their parents get there. <laughs> somebody, we need to call somebody. <laughs> you ought to put down those football bits that you've been sewing, because I've heard that it's somebody's very special 11th birthday. <laughs> Photo of a kick. Panchawaho, Panchawaho. What do you mean it's not your turn to make the coffee? This is fucking Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to work in a library. <laughs> if only I could read. <laughs> okay, the next topic is <laughs> unlikely things to hear on a property program. You know I said those ghastly beams, what on earth are they for? It turns out they were for holding your house up. <laughs> Even on a collapsing market, you can still make money from a flat like this. We invited three different estate agents to come and value it, then harvested their organs. God dang. Very spacious and with wonderful views, but this flat is in Dundee, so it might as well be built out of shit. <laughs> Rejected questions from this year's exams. There are six lines of equal length. How long will Kerry Katona be in the bathroom? 
Damn. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a TV business show. OK, Dragons, I've developed a system that lets you get your own seat on the bus. And it involves talking slightly too loudly and pissing yourself. I mean, that would work. Hello and welcome to Working Lunch, a show for people who are so good at business, they're sat at home watching the TV <laughs> in the middle of the fucking day. <laughs> That's funny. This week, the apprentices face their toughest task ever, selling the shites that Alan actually makes. Bad things to hear from a tour guide. <laughs> I know that a lot of you can't bear to leave Thailand, which is why I've hidden drugs randomly in your luggage. Oh, my God. An adult and two children is £10. But enough about my trip to Cambodia. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Our next topic is unlikely things to hear on a breakfast show. Welcome to Radio Tourette's, you shit monkeys. <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a horror movie. I am from Transylvania and I will suck you dry. Oh, yes, and what about your cheeky sister? <laughs> Bruh, how? How do you. <laughs> how? Oh, oh my goodness. This man. Oh my gosh. This is so. He's so I funny, bro. Bear, I cannot bear direct sunlight. Which is why I moved to Scotland. But now I can't find any virgins! <laughs> This potion that turns you from Dr. Jekyll into Mr. Hyde, it looks a lot like six cans of Stella. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on a children's TV program. This drawing has been sent in by Robert, age nine. That's a shit drawing, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> there are children your age in China who can make shoes. <laughs> There's a rumour that the Teletubbies have been infiltrated by Al-Qaeda. Have you, Tinky Winky? Ow! Oh, I just hit my head on the fan. Bro. Not the Teletubbies. Not the Teletubbies. Not the, not the Al-Qaeda Teletubbies. <laughs> oh, bro. Traded by Al-Qaeda. Have you, Tinky Winky? <laughs> Have you, Dipsy? <laughs> Rashid? <laughs> flobber dobber dob said Bill. <laughs> Bloody foreigners, said Ben. Flubber <laughs> <laughs> dubber dubber dub, said Ben, because he'd had a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Sharpie and Ryan take their audition failure very badly in Columbine High School Musical. <laughs> That's wrong. That's wrong. Small ads. John, 20 has been missing for two years. He was a diabetic and left without taking his medication. Let's face it, he's dead. <laughs> Damn! One of the things for a cricket commentator to say. Go! <laughs> <laughs> is it a four or is it a six? No, that man's ass is definitely a ten. <laughs> Whoa. To recap on the rules, it's rounders with extra gay stuff. <laughs> The Indians may have pipped us here, but let's not forget, we slaughtered them in their millions. <laughs> what not to say to a policeman? I wanted to be a policeman, but then I passed my O-levels. Damn. My sister would like you. She loves a man in uniform, and she's a racist. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> DVDs I wouldn't sell. <laughs> Thank you for purchasing Learning the Guitar with Stephen Hawking. <laughs> no, Luke, I'd buy it just to see. I would buy it just to Jedi see. Jedi do gay stuff, Luke. Relax and feel the force. <laughs> the worst thing to hear over a tannoy system. 
The owner of the Porsche convertible, you're a middle-aged man having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> We're currently cruising at 17 feet, and my wife left me when I converted to Islam. <laughs> oh my God! Good ways for Gordon Brown to address the nation. I believe in openness and transparency, which is why my trousers are open and my pants are transparent. <laughs> I'm disgusted that so many cabinet ministers have smoked cannabis because there's some fantastic MDMA going around. <laughs> Gee. Lick my neck, lick my back, lick my pussy and my crack. What? You thought Tony Blair was a cunt. Watch this. <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear at a party conference. I think I can speak for everybody here because I'm a mixed race hermaphrodite. <laughs> Brothers, sisters, I don't care, I'll fuck anything. Good lord. Likely lines to hear in a TV show. Next on Loose Women, someone worth wanking to. <laughs> Unlikely <laughs> lines from the final Harry Potter book. Oh. I'm glad they let Irvin Welsh write a chapter, said Harry, and as the methadone hit his system, he shat himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you hidden a copy of the Quran in your beard? <laughs> <laughs> Could I leave school now? I'm fucking 27. <laughs> <laughs> Bad things for a teacher to say. You're all going on this school trip, but if any of you have ever watched the news, you'll know that you won't all be coming back. Damn! <laughs> We've all had a hard time since Sharon went missing. I, for example, haven't been able to use my basement. <laughs> Today's game of heads down, thumbs up begins on the sound of my zipper. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear on a driving test. <laughs> my stumps don't reach the pedals. That is messed up. There are two ways you can pass. You can spend two hours driving round Norwich, or you can suck on this. <laughs> what a TV chef would never say. I'm Nigella Lawson, and what I love about presenting this programme is the knowledge that at home, Frankie Boyle has just about ripped his cock off. <laughs> <laughs> While you're stuffing the lamb, put your hand over his muzzle so he can't cry for his mother. What? This dish requires a little extra salt, so I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> bruh. Frankie, I'm trying to have this video stay on YouTube, bro. You can't be saying stuff like that. Good lord. <laughs> it's <was> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just die. There we have it. A donut like a Boy Scout's asshole. <laughs> Bad thing to say at the opening of the new Wembley Stadium. Well, isn't this magnificent? Some seats pointing at some fucking grass. <laughs> As you'll see, the dressing rooms have been specially adapted for mass roastings. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on Comic Relief. Why don't they just eat the flies? <laughs> the worst thing your new neighbour could say. Stay away from my daughter. She gave me crabs. <laughs> <laughs> I fantasise about tricking your wife into making love to me by wearing your skin. Bro, what? There's something wrong with that man, bro. There's something wrong with that man.
and I love every second of it. This dude is hilarious. I need to watch more of this show. Like, I wish I would have known about this show sooner, because this might be, like, my favorite show ever. <laughs> but all right, guys, that is going to do it for Frankie Boyle's best bits off of Mock the Week. But if y'all want to see more reactions like this, let me know by hitting that like button. And if y'all are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we are literally, like, 40 subscribers away from 100K. So hopefully this is the video that gets us there. But we cannot do it without y'all hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure I go today. Spread the love. Spread kindness. Do something nice to somebody today. I love you guys so much. I really do. JT Reaction, I'm out. Peace.